Everybody smile. <laughs> Loading up. Loading up all our stuff. Four boxes, four bags. The fun part's moving the stuff around on public transport. We're out here waiting for a bus. It's about 5.30 in the morning. We had a Sakad driver help us get it over here. Hopefully a bus comes soon. We got a bus, and since it's not even 6 o'clock in the morning yet, it's not very crowded. Not air conditioned, but it's not too bad right now. I will be sorry before we get to Antiki that we're on an unair conditioned bus. But such is life. The drive is really pretty because you ride along the coast and you see this, these real nice little coves and fishing villages all up and down here. We're out in the middle of nowhere most of the way, but there's houses built right along the ocean almost the entire way. There's very little section that doesn't have houses. I want to take this opportunity to again thank everyone that donated. This was, like I said, a last minute idea. I thought about it, but it just, I keep forgetting school starts at the beginning of June. So it, I realized it was like, oh, school starts in a week. If we're going to do this, it's probably too late. So I just made a post on Facebook for some friends and family, and it only took five donors because in the U.S. people give $50, $100, pretty common. And here, that turns into a lot of money. It's very hard to raise money here in the Philippines because people give 100 pesos, 200 pesos, and there's nothing wrong with that because, I mean, every little bit does help. But in the U.S., they'll give out 50s and 100s, so they're giving like you know, 5,000 pesos each, a lot. Of the goal was only 25,000 pesos. And we got 20,000 in just a couple of days. So we were able to buy all the school supplies. And like I said, we bought toothbrushes instead of slippers because toothbrushes are cheaper and they need them anyway. Oh, those houses, by the way, are right just on the edge of the mountain. It's unbelievable the way they build some of these. It's really cool seeing them. Um, I don't know, we're in the, halfway up the mountain, there's no city nearby, I don't know where these people would have a job, you can't really farm right here, I really don't know what they do for money, but uh, it looks real pretty driving through it, and you see the houses, and you think, oh, isn't that cute, but then you think about having to go grocery shopping, or pay your bills, and eh, maybe it's not as cute. And, speaking of money, thanks again for the donations. I really, really, we could not have done this alone. Um, I have some nice ideas for things to do. I have lots of time to do it. I don't have a lot of money to do it with. So we don't get to do as much charity work as I would like. Um, I tried getting involved in a couple different organizations here, but it, I don't know. They basically, other people did fundraising, and we all just showed up to have our picture taken. It was, I don't know, not satisfying. Oh, here's the dividing line. Welcome to Antiki. We're starting the downward part of the mountain, and uh, you'll see a sign coming up. We're almost to McDonald's. No, we did not stop. It's only 25 kilometers to go. Um, but yes, I enjoy doing charity work. I, I really like helping the kids here. Uh, I have tried to avoid as much um, online begging or fundraising as possible. 
but I did set up a couple payment options if anyone wants to donate there will be links below to how you can PayPal me and I have a Patreon page if anyone wants to do actual monthly donations. PayPal is good for single gifts. Patreon is good for subscribers. This is the bus stop in San Jose. It's the first city. And the less said about that bathroom, the better. Really not busy today. I, I don't understand. It's usually much more crowded than this. Still early in the morning. Um, now we've made it to Melanie's family home. We've cleaned up, freshened up, and uh, had brunch and are on our way out to the school. And you can't hear the kids, I don't think, but they're all yelling at hey, ATM. So hello. Say hello. That's Ian Rose one of the nieces and she wants me to buy her a fool. I suppose I will have to do that. Because we've become buddies. We're taking a saccade up the mountain to the school. Luckily the windshield is broken so I can see. There she is. She's sitting beside me, sticking her tongue out at me. Totally unprovoked, I might add, because you know I would never start any problems. Um, we run out of pavement pretty soon here, and eventually it gets so bad you have to get out for sections and push. Because these little, this is actually not even a motorcycle, it's a little Suzuki like scooter that they've put the sidecar on. And the one with the books is weighed down so heavy, we're not sure if it's going to make it up the mountain. So, uh, <laughs> fun, fun. But imagine these kids, they're walking to school, and in the rainy season, this road is terrible. Especially on the close to school. Just on here, here, we are stuck. So, everybody gets out and walks for a section. Now, imagine torrential rain washing down this while you're walking to school. Um, it is kind of neat how they terrace their fields. You know, it's very pretty up here really is. Oh, I guess I apologize for six minutes of babbling incoherently, but I'm kind of alternating between talking about doing the charity work and talking about the scenery. I just wanted to show you how pretty it is through here. I, we're in the city and I like it. It's actually more fun for me, but uh, it's just so nice out here. Everything's real pretty. All the people are friendly. Um, Anyway, um, here we are at the school. The road just dead ends at the school. It's a small school, very underfunded, understaffed. I was talking to one of the teachers and she was explaining they have mixed age group classrooms, not because of any educational benefits, but because they simply don't have enough teachers. So like a second, third grade might be in one room. So there's like 50 kids. <laughs> It's fun. We're trying to keep this organized, but it's hard. <laughs> We're sorting all the bags. Look. That's all the kids want is their candy. The kids don't want school supplies. Once we got the assembly line set up, it actually went much faster than I expected. We stacked everything, then we had the envelopes, we did all the kindergarten. And we did all the first grade. Because there were five configurations of bags for the seven different grade levels. So we had to make sure we sorted them all out. It wasn't too bad. Had a lot of help. And she's trying to herd some cats. Good luck. Since it is Saturday, and some of these kids live far from the school, they're not all here today to get their supplies. Quite a few of them showed up. 
and the rest will get their supplies on Monday when school starts. Um, we finished at the school and we're gonna go up here because they say there's a waterfall and it's really hot so a waterfall sounds good And again, thanks so much for everyone that donated. Uh, this has really been great. My sister asked where the money would come from normally. It would be out of these people's grocery money or, more often, the teacher's salary. The teachers pay for a lot of this themselves. So we really had a good time doing it. I was glad to help. and Thanks so much for everyone that helped.